ain't been up on the block in a minute. Uh, I've been missing out the walk with the minute. Uh, uh, I've been building up the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, he got his glide. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, that boy on top. Uh, what, sip and walk. What up, it's John Shibor, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. In today's video, I'm gonna be revealing top secrets on how to dominate Supercross tables and MX Bikes, just like a pro. This is round 14, Nashville, and I think there's just two unique tabletops here that you gotta learn how to do, whether that's a triple in table or a double onto a table. It's gonna take a lot of precision, a uh, lot of throttle control, a lot of corner speed, and um, yeah, just knowing when to sit and stand, this video is going to be really helpful for anybody that's just starting to dive into Supercross and or you're probably just not getting that competitive edge because you don't really know how to conquer uh, tables and MX bikes just yet. So yeah, this might be just a thing that you're missing, the best bang to your buck. So lock in, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe button, and we're going to be diving right into it all. Um, I appreciate you guys for clicking on this video and hopefully you guys get some valuable insight on tables now. Um, but yeah, this is, like I said, going to be something super simple. Um, not too long of a video, but it's going to be hugely into your benefit, allowing you to understand and maybe help out. So we're going to do breaking it down step by step and allowing you guys to feel super comfortable. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay, first exercise is going to be the triple table. All right, it's probably the most hardest way to get onto a table. I have the controller here. We're going to do about a walkthrough through it. Then I'm going to show you about two to three demonstrations and then we'll move on to another table. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to do um, exact corner speed and keep your momentum, make sure you guys go, go watch my corner video. But until then, I'm going to show you that you need to really sh exercise doing all of this corner speed and standing the bike straight up outside of the corner, which is probably going to be the hardest thing to do or learn. Right? Shout out to Splash, man. You really showed me how to really like absolutely execute this. But you want to stand, you want to stand the bike straight up out of the corner, and you also want to stand up off the face of the jump. That's what's going to allow you to get a lot of pop. I'm going to go here. Stand the bike up and stand up, and you're gonna be able to get it with all the momentum. Um, yeah, just make sure you're watching my controller, um, and then I'm gonna be breaking it down through the demonstrations. But here, stand the bike up and stand up, and then you wanna seat bounce in midair. What that means is you, when you stand up off the face of the jump, you're gonna get pretty high, but you're not, you're gonna go kind of leaping forward. But what's gonna allow you to get that extra pop up is standing and then seat bouncing, which allows you to bring the bike up closer to you. So now let's go through a couple demonstrations. So here, I'm gonna really just exercise and show you guys my controller, and then I'm gonna show you when I'm sitting and I'm standing, just where I'm pulling back and pulling forward and uh, just really bringing the bike to me. So let's go ahead and start with the controller. I'm gonna go off the face of the jump, standing at the bike straight back up and literally standing off the face of the jump and then sitting in midair at the highest of my peak. It allows me to get as much extension. So I'm gonna pull back, stand up, sit down in midair when I'm at my highest peak, which allows me to get as much extension as I can onto that table. Let's go and show when I'm sitting now. It's gonna be right over here, stand the bike up, stand up, and then sit down midair at the highest peak, stand up right before I even sit back, I mean, hit the ground. Let's go one more time. You're gonna see that I'm gonna literally stand before I even get off the face, sit at the highest peak, stand before I even catch the ground, and then the same thing. All right, so next thing a lot of people have problems with is being able to get the pop onto a table and the pop off of a table. I'm just gonna show you simple things that you can do. I'm not gonna show you anything crazy of scrubbing to stay lower because it, it takes a little bit more skill, which I will be coming out with a scrub video here soon. But it's simple things like this. Standing up off the face of the jump, just like how I said how to get onto a triple, it's gonna be the same thing for a single onto a table, which allows you to get that pop. And it's basically the same mindset of getting off the table. So it's gonna look just like this, just a bit. Boom. That's a little extra tip for you is just the seat bounce, right? You're gonna come back here. You don't even have to use all everything. You literally just stay first gear here, pull up on the handlebars, and then sit down off the face of the jump. Sit down off the face of the jump. I'll show you how to get onto the table first. Sit down off the jump. I mean, sit down off the jump, right? Stand up off the jump. Here, standing, sit down, pull it to you. Pull the bike to you, right? Pretty simple, look at my analog sticks if you need to, pull it to you. Sit down, pull it to you. Stand up, you're standing, you're standing, you're standing, pull it to you and sit down. You see the bike come straight to you, that's how you're gonna get that pop onto the table. Now, getting off the table is almost the same thing. Standing, sit down, stand again, and then pull again towards you. That's what's allowing you to get your front wheel over that freaking um, single off, right? So pull up, pop, stand, pop again, sit down. 
That should be your same thing. You should be able to practice this and get used to it. It's where you're just boom, here, stand, stand, boom. Easy peasy, right? Show you a little bit more. Just look at my analog sticks. Pop, pop. I'm able to get it every time because all I'm doing is a simple seat bounce maneuver, which is allowing the bike to get closer to my butt, bringing the bike to me. I'm not going to the bike, right? I'm not, the bike's coming to me. I'm not going to the bike. Bike's coming to me. Bike's coming to me. It's not the other way around to where you're going to the bike. The bike is coming up closer to you. Bang, too easy. Bang, too easy. Now I'll show you what that looks like in third person. Now you're gonna watch as I bring the bike up to me. This is the seat bounce I'm talking about. Standing, standing, standing. And then I sit and I bring the bike up to me. That's what's allowing me to get that pop one more time. Look, standing, standing, sit. It's bringing that bike up to me, allowing me to get over the table. I'll show you one more time. Standing, standing, sitting. You see how I'm bringing the bike up to me? I'm not going to the bike. Standing, standing, bringing the bike up to me again. I sit, boom, too easy. That is what's going to allow you to get a lot of pop off of these tables. I really hope you guys are literally watching that. I do that everywhere, man. It really helps a lot. Another great example is here in Arlington is a quick scrub table and an off the table. That right there is probably going to be your hardest friend right now in the game is allowing you to scrub onto tables and off but you could just see the body motion of me scrubbing standing scrubbing and same thing almost like what i've already taught you it's basically off the face of the jump now instead of standing you're scrubbing you're standing before of it it's before of it and then you're sitting down standing sitting down again it's the same concept i'll go ahead and slow that down and put it in slow motion i just want you guys to really see just you know the controller motion and when I'm sitting and standing, it, it just plays all of a huge part and it's gonna take time, but you can see how I sit down off the face of the jump and I'm pulling back off that, which is allowing a little bit of a scrub and you can see just off the face, you know, when I'm getting onto the table and off, I'm doing the exact same thing before to where I'm pulling up and leaning, you know, pulling the bike to me instead of going to the bike. Same thing here, you can see when I'm standing, sitting, and I'm on the table when I'm standing and as I'm getting off the exit, you can see that I'm like, you know, sitting off and it's allowing to get that pop standing you know and pulling up so easy peasy it's going to be the same concept here for this table over here obviously you're going to want to learn that on your own but here is what you really want being able to get onto the top of that table and then jumping off of it because once again throttle control comes into a huge motion you don't want to over jump it and you want to make sure you get the traction so here scrub stand stand off and it's it's the same thing i've been literally preaching from the beginning i'll make sure i'll slow it down for you guys that we can really see my throttle, my my controller you guys can see my sitting standing because it, it all matters standing sitting standing again popping off with the stand with the sit off it, it all matters just i want you guys to see that so i'll go ahead and play it back in all slow-mo so really take a look and understand like what's happening here and like when you're in the air and adjusting your body position using your body movements to stay level you know using your legs your arms obviously it's a simulator but like you can just see the body position I'm using with the controller and with my user to be able to use all of that momentum and progression to keep going. And as you touch down, prepare onto these tables, you know, you want to absorb the impact with your legs. That's why you're standing up. Stay loose, flexible to prevent like harsh landing, because if you do a harsh landing and or don't get the traction with these bikes, it's going to give you a really bad take. But remember, practice makes perfect, so you're not going to get this on your first try, but I really want you to focus and key in on these aspects of standing and sitting, and you're going to, over time, it produce your skills, you know, to be better. You know, speed, momentum, it's a, it's a high-risk thing, but with high reward, if you can easily get this, is what's going to keep you moving on. This would be just super brief, but, you know, I feel like I forgot to show you guys how to do table on the table, but it's the same thing, same concept. Just everything I've shown you before is, is the sitting and standing. So really work on that. This is Anaheim 2, probably the best spot to just go back and forth from literally just sitting right here, taking this outside, going double in, and then getting a nice little scrub on table to table. You don't even have to sit down. You can just see I'm literally keeping the bounce on there. So tables aren't really hard for table to table as long as you have the momentum. Don't over jump it. That's the hugest thing. If you over jump, that's what's going to allow you to not keep the traction. But just keep a nice little steady spot right there. And then you should have it, man. So that concludes the video, man. I hopefully um, a lot of people that are just starting out Supercross that really helped out a lot for you guys. Whether you're, you know, just starting out semi-pro, a pro, or you're just having trouble in general trying to get the pop and throttle control and knowing when to sit and stand and all that good stuff. I hope this helped you out, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for 16,000 subs. 
I hope this guide really did help you out. I did not try to make it super long because at the end of the day, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just got to know the technique to get into it. Um, and then, yeah, it will come over time for you actually mastering it and getting better. So if you're going to at least spend about 15 minutes a day and we're going to practice and really over-exercise it and get onto these tables, I promise you, you will have a great time and you will actually want to start riding Supercross more because that's really where you lose a lot of time, man. Trying to get a Supercross triple or not, excuse me, a triple into a table, that's probably going to be your hardest friend of getting that bike back up. And it's going to take a lot of time, but the more and more you learn it, I promise you, you will be a champion. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy IBS Kelso, and I'll catch you guys all in the absolute next one. Pop, 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 pop,